Hi preschoolers, welcome to this week's activity alert. So this week I thought we would go artistic and um, we would do some nature inspired art. But to do that, I thought to start with, we could try making our own paintbrushes. So these are some paintbrushes that I've already made. This one's been made out of um, fluffy bits of grass. There's some cotton lavender here and a nice flower. So I've walked around my garden and you could go somewhere on a more daily walk um, or if you're just out and about and collect some things that you can make your paintbrushes from. So I've also collected other fluffy bits of greenery. So this is from the yarrow plant. I thought these looked quite a lot like paintbrushes, quite nice and fluffy. I collected some rowan leaves and a few of these. Again, they were quite fluffy like a paintbrush. So I thought I'd have a go with those. And some conifer. Um, which I thought would also make a nice lovely paintbrush. <clears throat> I've also collected some sticks along the way so I can attach my bits of greenery and flowers to my sticks and turn them into paintbrushes. So I thought we could just have a quick look around my garden while you were here to see if there's anything else that we could maybe use. So I'm going to just pick up this phone and we'll go for a little tour. We can try over here. So we're looking for things that are sort of fluffy, going to hold the paint a little bit. So here is some hydrangea. I'm not sure these are going to be very suitable, a bit too flat. Here's some bamboo. That might be quite nice. They look quite like paintbrushes, these leaves, long and thin. I might take a few bits of bamboo, just a few. Here are the lovely, the lovely pink flowers that I've got lots of. You'll find lots of these along the roadsides at the moment. I just think just picking one would be fine. What else have we got? <clears throat> Here are more of the pink flowers. Here are the grasses that I was I've made one of my paintbrushes from and I've also got lots of long grass in my garden at the moment which I thought also might make some nice paintbrushes so I'm going to pick a few of those. There we go. So now we've got everything we can go back and do a bit of painting. Okay, nice blue sky in the background there. Okay, so let's make our paintbrushes. So what I've got is my stick and a little piece of string. So this is a good way for you to practice some of your knots as well. So I think I'm going to use the yarrow that I've got here to turn into a paintbrush. So I'm just going to gather it together. So it makes a bit of a fluffy end. And then attach that bit to my stick. So I've got lots of stuff that I'm not going to use down the bottom. We'll just ignore that bit. And then I'm going to tie, wrap my string around and tie it in a nice knot, nice and tight. So you could use wool or cotton or string, we want a little bit of wire. You do one tie and then another tie. Crossing them over, making a hole and pushing it through. We've got a nice paintbrush to try. So I've done a little bit of painting down here already, so we can have a go with this one. As long as you can see it well enough. Look, there we go. So I've tried out these already. So I've tried out this pink flower. This is quite good for making little patterns. This is the cotton lavender. Again, let's see what kind of patterns it makes. And let's try this yarrow in the green. Ooh. Quite long streaks and a different sort of pattern. So I'm going to have a little bit of a play with those and see if I can create some artwork with my paintbrushes. Um, so maybe you can have a go at doing that yourself. If you're out and about for a little walk and taking scissors with you or we're walking around your garden, remember to hold your scissors like this. Maybe take a little bag or something with you to collect your items. And I'm also going to put out this week some of the activities that we've done earlier in the year. And this was the nature treasure hunt nature pirates activity so there was a colouring sheet and a spot the difference page and also a little arm bangle which has got double sided tape on which you'll peel off and then if you can collect some lovely things you can stick them onto the double sided tape as you're out on your walk so the reason for putting this back out again not only because I have lots of extra packs left 
but also it was about three months ago that we did this first so I just thought it'd be interesting to see what has changed in the environment and what's changed in nature since the last time you did this. It's definitely hotter, there's lots more flowers out, maybe more green things. It's also a bit drier, it's not as damp at the moment, so things might stick on here a little bit better. So it's just to have another go at doing your Nature Pirate Explorer as a second activity. And then maybe you could see, you could show me what you've been doing on Thursday, um, either your paintings, your paintbrushes or whatever you've collected. And I look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.